We were at the uh, Metroplex Challenge this last Saturday, and uh, it, it was a good meet. Uh, we enjoyed it. It's a it's an awesome opportunity for us to prepare for uh, postseason. Um, and it's one of the rare places that you can do that in the country. So we started on beam, uh, which was um, which was it can be challenging at times because we don't get that opportunity that often to do that. So we felt like that was a really great thing for us, our team, to be able to do in case we face that um, that starting event as we get into the postseason. So we had we had a mistake on beam and we ended up having to count a fall, but. I thought our team responded really well um, going into the next three rotations and they kept their energy up and so yeah it was it was fantastic and, and I think we learned a lot about our team. The competition at Metroplex can help us in the future because we got to compete on podium which was pretty cool and that's how like the bigger competitions are you compete up on podium. So again, the Metroplex Challenge, it's, it's, a, it's one of the rare events that goes on during the regular season that gives you the opportunity um, to compete on podium and to compete with more than your typical two teams in a dual meet. And so that format really allows you to, to simulate uh, postseason uh, SEC championships, NCAA championships, uh, NCAA regionals as well. So uh, I really think that's gonna, that will strengthen us and I think that will make us feel much, much more prepared as we move into the, uh, the end of the year. My experience competing on podium was really cool this past weekend. I've never competed on podium before, so it was a really cool experience. My experience competing on podium was great. I had a really fun time. Um, it was a little bouncy at first, but I got used to it pretty quickly. Our team responded, I thought, really well. You know, we started out, we had a mistake. It's bound to happen in a season, and, and, and it happened to us uh, right out of the gates uh, when we started on beam. And, uh, but I'll tell you what, we gathered the team right after that and just said, hey, listen, this is going to be, this can happen in meets. And I, I'm, what I was really interested in seeing was how did our team respond and how tough were they uh, and able to battle back and, and keep, keep fighting and do their job, you know? And, uh, and I thought they did a great job. Actually, after that, we did a, I thought we did a really nice job of hitting the next three events. Um, we had a few struggles in the beginning, but we pushed through and we fought hard. I felt like we got it together pretty well after beam. It was a little shaky at the start, but I felt like we really kept up our energy and we really like pushed through and backed each other up the whole way. So we're approaching the midway point of season. I think we've really progressed well. You know, again, our goals are the same every meet. Uh, hopefully we perform a little bit better each meet, but the goal is, is that we continue to focus on our own team, bring a lot of energy, enjoy what we're doing. Um, and, and hit routines, you know, and so I think we've done a, a very nice job of doing that, and uh, and I think we're gonna we're about to take that next step uh, where we're really focused in on some details. As we're approaching the halfway mark of our season, I think that we've really become one as a team, and we really fight for every skill on every event, and we're just the energy is so much like higher and better in practice and at the competition. So what we've learned up to this point, um, if we're going to continue to improve, is that we need to be very focused on the details uh, going forward. And, and we're capable of doing that, but you really have to put that effort into that during practice uh, on a consistent basis. Um, but I think we can do it, and uh, I think it's going to really make a difference as we approach the latter portion of the season.